In the heart of Germany, a new beast is stirring, a titan of steel and technology that could change the face of modern warfare. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up as we dive into the world of the KF-51 Panther, Germany's latest creation that's making waves in the military community. Picture this, a sleek, menacing silhouette rolling across the battlefield. But this isn't your grandfather's tank. No, this is the future of armored warfare, brought to life by the brilliant minds at Rheinmetall. The KF-51 Panther isn't just a new tank, it's a revolution on tracks. Let's start with the big gun, shall we? Because when it comes to tanks, size does matter. The Panther boasts a massive 130 members future gun system. Now, you might be thinking, so what? It's just 10 millimeter bigger than the usual 120 millimeters. But oh boy, those 10 millimeters make a world of difference. We're talking about a 50% longer kill range and 50% more effectiveness. This bad boy can reach out and touch someone from distances that would make other tanks green with envy. But the Panther isn't just about brute force. It's got brains to match its brawn. Imagine a tank with a digital nervous system so advanced it makes your smartphone look like a calculator from the 80s. The KF-51 features a fully digitized architecture that's compliant with NGVA standards. In layman's terms, this tank is smarter than some of the people designing it. It's got decision support systems and automation that would make AI enthusiasts weak at the knees. Now, let's talk survival, because what good is all that firepower if you can't stay in the fight? The Panther comes with an integrated survivability concept that would make a cockroach jealous. We're talking active, reactive, and passive protection systems. And here's the kicker. It's got dedicated top attack protection. Remember those pesky Javelin missiles that have been giving tanks nightmares? The Panther just says, bring it on. But here's where it gets really interesting. Despite all this tech and armor, the Panther weighs in at a svelte 59 tons. That's right, this tank has been hitting the gym and watching its diet. It's more agile than its heavier cousins, like the latest M1 Abrams. It's like if the Hulk took ballet lessons. Powerful and graceful. But wait, there's more. Because apparently, Rheinmetall decided that a massive gun, cutting edge armor, and digital brains weren't enough. The Panther also comes with a 12.7 million coaxial machine gun and remote controlled weapon stations. And just when you think they couldn't possibly cram anything else into this metal monster, they went and added the ability to launch Hero 120 loitering munitions. Picture this, you're facing down a panther on the battlefield. You think you're safe behind that hill. Suddenly, from the tank's turret, a small drone launches. Before you can say schnitzel, that drone has found you, loitered menacingly over your position and then dive-bombed you back to the Stone Age. That's the kind of party trick the Panther brings to the fight. But it doesn't stop there. The Panther can also deploy reconnaissance quadcopters from its turret. It's like having a scout that can fly, giving the crew unparalleled situational awareness. This tank doesn't just fight. It gathers intelligence, adapts, and then fights smarter. Now, let's put this all in context. Rheinmetall unveiled this mechanical masterpiece at the Euro Sattery Arms Show in June 2022. This marked Germany's first new tank design in over 40 years. That's right, folks. The last time Germany designed a new tank, disco was still a thing. But like a fine German beer, they took their time and got it right. The heart of this beast, the 130mm future gun system, is a game changer. It's not just about the size, it's about the brains behind the brawn. This gun is paired with a fully automatic ammunition handling system that can fire two shots in less than three seconds. That's faster than you can say off Wiedersehen to your target. And let's not forget the ammo. This gun doesn't just fire one type of round, Oh no, it's got options. Kinetic energy rounds for punching through armor, programmable airburst ammunition for those pesky infantry. 
and practice rounds for when you want to show off at the tank range. It's like having a Swiss Army knife, but instead of a corkscrew, it's got earth-shattering kaboom. But here's the million-dollar question. Can Rhine Metal actually produce this wonder weapon? Well, they claim they can churn out 120, 150 tanks per year. That's a bold claim, considering the complexity of this beast. They're facing challenges in scaling up production, ensuring all the whiz-bang technology actually works in combat, and convincing militaries to adopt an entirely new system. And let's not forget the political side of things. As a German company, Rheinmetall needs the green light from the German government for exports. In today's complex geopolitical landscape, that's not always a given, but perhaps the biggest challenge is the competition. The Panther isn't entering an empty arena. It's stepping into a ring full of heavyweight contenders, Convincing armies to ditch their tried-and-true tanks for this new kid on the block won't be easy. But if the Panther can deliver on its promises, it might just be too tempting to resist. In conclusion, the KF-51 Panther is more than just a tank. It's a glimpse into the future of warfare. It's a rolling testament to German engineering and innovation. Whether it will truly outmatch every other tank in the world remains to be seen. But one thing's for sure, the Panther has roared onto the scene, and the world of armored warfare will never be the same. Watch this space, because the next chapter in the history of tanks is being written right before our eyes, and it's shaping up to be one hell of a story.